<coughs> time lapse okay so you gotta clean it out you can see that's not quite level and so um, I put away the hammer quite a while ago uh, now you do it by hand you know you just kind of kind of hold it like this and then you uh, just kind of you know get the get the unlevel areas and you're actually using the uh, the chisel to uh, to feel you know what you got you can even lightly kind of shave it where you're just kind of pushing it over and you'll feel it catch and it's just going to catch on the high spots and uh, And it gets easier and easier as you go down because um, now you've got the walls, you know, the walls of the deal here holding you in there. And so you don't have to worry about sliding off, you know, and catching the outside of it. Pretty safe doings now. And like I said, it's all done by hand now. You just kind of... Uh, Kind of pop it like that, and it'll it'll catch the high spots, and you'll feel them. You'll feel the thing tip under your finger there, you know. And uh, but in a second, I'm ready to try it because I can sand the pocket or file the pocket and get it get it real perfect, and that's what I have to do, and that takes a while. But my concern is, how's the neck gonna fit, right? Because we're really close to the depth itself. Here we go. The test. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so uh, you can get one of these. Uh, and this is how how tight anybody should be making their necks. And if they aren't, then you're getting a shit guitar. Because uh, the thing, uh, I always build my guitars. I can want them to last a hundred years. Now, what was my guarantee that I could hold it up without locking it? There it is. That's a nice pocket right there. That's a sweet pocket. I got to take a little bit more off the edge there. You can kind of see the gap right there. I got to clean that line up. And uh, this is how it should be. So no screws holding it, but yet it's suspending a, 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 a pretty good amount of weight. I'm telling you, that slab of wood that isn't light. Well, I mean, as far as... So, we're good, man. We got a nice pocket, nice tight pocket. That means when I when I put the four neck bolts in that, that son of a bitch won't move anything. So, I can depend on what I'm sending out the door. I care about those things, by the way. But uh, the inside, we're good, it looks like. You, know, you got to watch the edges. Those are the things that will screw you up. So make sure you uh, get a nice light shaving on there. And then what you're doing is you're eventually just dropping the angle of your... Uh, you're dropping the angle of your pips. So as you come in here, you can just go like this to it for forever. It'll eventually level it down. You know, as long as you're not taking too much meat off. Now right now, we're just trying to take the high spots. I have this really cool tool that my craftsman buddy uh, borrowed from me, and I keep asking him for it back, but it was really good with these pockets. It's a little tiny planer, little hand planer from like the 70s. Cool as hell for these pockets. I've done most of my pockets with it, and it just, uh, it'll just take the high spots off and leave the rest. It's kind of weird how it works, but it works good. But once you get out uh, these, it's really important just to keep your edges and your corner is nice and uh, square and you can start coming at them like that at this direction to try to level them too and you'll pick up stuff that's high there and uh, you just basically work all four you know this way this way and you'll always have a lip right here it's just going to be there no matter what and so when you go to trim that and level that out like the rest of it is because we're pretty much level enough for neck right here. Uh, we're down to where I made my original cut lines. And uh, what I do is with my with my uh, multi-tool, I will uh, I'll use tape to mark the spot, how deep I want to go. And so I know exactly how deep I'm going. 
uh, based on the tape. The blade will actually stop when it gets to the tape, so it won't go any further even if you try to, you'd have to push on it pretty good. Okay, man, so uh, that's all I wanted for this video. I'm trying to get a bunch of little short ones through the whole process of this, but uh, just a couple little five minute videos here and there. Thanks for watching. See it on the next uh, event, which should be, uh, yeah, the graphics and stuff. All right.